Fernando, this is for you. I will ask you the question, but I also will give you a bonus question for the Chargers because it's compass on the uh, uh, L L L A B B B. That's a terrible. That's a terrible sound. B B B B. There you go. Better. But uh, first question for the Chargers: Can they stay healthy for once? Because you know this team in training camp is not a good mix. <sighs> I'll say that they will stay healthy this time. Why will I say that? Because they're under the radar. Every year, teams pick them to do this, do that, Super Bowl contenders. They're going to dethrone the Chiefs. I think this might be – this is the year where they didn't go – they didn't – like you said about the Jaguars, they didn't go out and get anybody spectacular. They got Eric Hendricks, who should help. Uh, they only signed two free agents. I think the other one was defensive tackle Nick Williams. I think they'll, I think they'll, they're going to come out of this healthy – and uh, and I do think that they, you're owed one. After all these years of uh, the last time that they were really healthy was 18, and uh, I think in that one they still miss Joey Bosa for most of the year with that uh, foot injury. But uh, but I say this year they come out of this healthy and and they're healthy going into the regular season. All right, Fernando. I kind of lied. I'm gonna ask you two bonus questions, but I'll get yeah. to the third one in a bit. The second one, I, I keep going back to what Derwin James told you at the golf event, the charity event they had, uh, and some fancy golf course. I forget where it was. But you you asked Derwin James, you know, can you give me like an, an analysis or an assessment of the rookie wide receiver, Quentin Johnson from TCU? I want to say number 21 pick overall, right? So, and he just asked you, I mean, you asked him and he just told you, he's that guy. Like, he had to look yeah. like, like, yeah, 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 yeah. He, he's yeah. that guy. What else do you want me to say? Like, he's really good. So you think we'll find out in training camp, Quentin Johnson will be that guy or to be kind of a slow, he's a rookie, you got to figure it out because you still got Mike Williams, Keenan Allen, you got to wait your turn. No, Gilbert, I think what we've seen before, and I, I think you've been a part of it, you've seen it before too, that guys kind of, they're attracted to Mike, they're attracted to Keenan, and there's never been that third guy to kind of take the attention away. I think that's what Quentin Johnson's going to do. He took off right away at uh, at uh, minicamp. I know it's just minicamp; they're in shorts and everything. But he looked good. He was playing. He was running around. He was doing things. And like I said, uh, like I've said before, he would come off the field, go straight to Keenan, go straight to Mike, go straight to Justin, and see what they could do. I think the kid's smart. I think he knows what to do. He kind of plays the receiver position like like a basketball player. Like he does the pivot. He moves. He he moves his hips in a different way. I think this kid uh, might be something interesting. Uh, I I went on a show a radio show the other day and I was like, you know what? I, I think he'll be a thousand yard receiver. And they're like, whoa, really? Whoa. I'm like, I just think with all the distractions with Keenan and Mike, he can be. But they asked me for like a like a hot take, and that was my hot take that I think he'll be a thousand yard receiver. And they're like, whoa, whoa. But um, I think he'll put up some decent numbers. I think he'll be a very good player for this offense. But I really do think that he's that fast option that they've been looking for. And I think he he takes this offense to the next level, especially because Kellen Moore is going to be key with this. If Kellen can exploit him and use the talents that make this kid good, I really think that the, he should be able to fly this year. And you'll see that hair waving all over the place uh, this season with him because he's – he, he could be dynamic if used in the correct way. Yeah, Fernando, I'm starting to buy the hype, too, what Durbin told you and then what you've been saying. That's, that's, like, Gilbert, in 2020, I, I and that's what I'm, I'm writing right now about uh, Quentin, is that I remember that guy, Joey Bosa, Casey Hayward, guys were telling us, like, hey, watch out. Like, Joey told me, hey, number 10, there's something special about that guy. And remember, we didn't see Justin. The one time we saw him, he threw a pick six right to Melvin Ingram, <laughs> And uh, we didn't really see much of him. And then in that Chiefs game, like, I remember he came out, he did a great job, and you're like, oh, wow, I shouldn't have been surprised. That's what guys were telling me back then. Now guys are telling me, hey, Quentin Johnston, watch out for this guy. So I'm going to take the players at their word, and and uh, I'm going to believe them. I, I can't give away everything we're doing uh, in terms of stories at SI, but they asked me who's a dark horse contender for defensive – I'm sorry, offensive player of the year, and – you might like the name that I threw out there, but we'll get there later in the week. And I already probably gave it away, but let's uh, <laughs> give you one more bonus question. But this one, I'm going to have fun with it, Fernando, because I want you to say yes to this question. And if so, pretend you're in the future. And it's our, because we're recording a little early here for report day. Will Justin Herbert have a new contract? And when you say yes, can you break it down for me? And how will this contract look for uh, the charges? Because uh. we're going to play it. If it happens during a week, we're going to clip it out. I'm going to get your analysis and we're going to post it up right away. So I'm forced, it, to, then, uh, yeah. I'm forced to say yes. Yeah, uh, 
The thing is, Joe Burrow didn't have one. He reported. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, I'll say I'll just say yes to go with your game or with your game. I'll say <laughs> he's he takes the next step. Fifty three million a year. Um, I think it'll be it'll be some kind of team friendly deal. I think, and that's it. Like kind of like a Patrick Mahomes kind of deal where it does like maybe they give him a big signing bonus and uh, or something like that. And the cap, it doesn't affect the cap as much, but I think something like that is going to have, like, it's going to be something close to being kind of a team friendly deal. But I say he takes the next step and he goes, uh, 52, 53 million. I think he's that next stepping stone. Uh, but man, I just, it, it's getting down to the nitty gritty, to be honest. Uh, Victor, if it happens, let this clip go. If it doesn't, maybe edit it out. Your call, but we'll get there.